welcome everyone to a very, very special edition of the Joyous Talk Show. Um, how do I count the ways? First, our very first live studio audience. <laughs> Number two, Nigel Barker is in the house here at Joyous. Uh, Number three, we have our very special makeover winner, which we can't wait to reveal to you today. And of course, Kelly and Michaela and myself, <laughs> all here to bring you a very special edition of the talk show. I would say, like, how nice to start a show with applause. I'm not sure I'm ever going to be able to go back to normal after yeah, today. I, I, I walk out and I have an applause in my head. Yeah. I'm like, yes, cheers, everything's fantastic. And I'm like, just making tea, people. Yeah, fantastic. It's true. I'm like, I feel like today, after today, we're going to be spoiled. Um, anyway, let's kick off the show talking about sort of, I think, a topic of deep passion for us all, which is really kind of empowering and making women feel beautiful. And I think. In fact, Nigel, when you and I met last spring, it was one of the very first reasons that, sort of, that we wanted to work with you because we thought we found a kindred mm -hmm. spirit um, in all the work that you've done that really is about expressing your real beauty. So, I mean, what does it mean to you? I mean, uh, listen, in all honesty, when it comes down to beauty, it, it, it's, it's a huge question. It's a question that people have been asking for millennia. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it, I, and there are so many kind of formulations for what people think mm -hmm. beauty is. Right. And I think the word is bandied around a lot in fashion and in, in, in the wrong way. I think that as a result, people f think that it's sort of unobtainable to mm -hmm. some respects because they, they see what are sort of considered perfect. Right, right. beautiful. Yeah. I mean, think about it in, through time, what we've done to ourselves, what women have done to themselves in the name of beauty. If you think of you know, Chinese women um, breaking their feet right. and creating small foot in what they call the lotus foot, you know, to, for a sign of beauty. Mm -hmm. Elizabethan women in England plucking the hair on their forehead to have a big forehead and then putting a, a white foundation on which caused terrible rashes. Right, right. The Egyptians using black eye, eye makeup which created blindness after about five to six years. I mean, the things that we've done, and nowadays what do we do? We chop a bit off, we stick a bit on. You know, <laughs> and somehow that's meant to make little, you feel good. Little, yeah. Reality is, is that none of that actually makes you beautiful. Mm -hmm. and, and it's enormously alluring and sexy. I always like to think of them. Um, beautiful people, I always think it looks like they're smiling inside. Yeah. Where there's like a glow about them and there's something special inside them that is shining through. Yeah. You know, when I focus my lens on a face, right, the, and you've got it for sure, the smile lines. People hide their wrinkles. Yeah. People are terrified of lines. Right. Oh, I, I don't want to get old. I'm right. like, mean, guess what? If you spend your life smiling, yeah. They all show in the yeah. face. But yes. if, you, if, you, if, you, if you're a depressed, uh, you know, you upset person. No, sometimes when I'm here, I, yeah. I leave and my whole face hurts because I've been smiling the whole time. Oh, that's, okay. that's, that's, that's a nice thing to say about joyous. <laughs> that's got to be a good thing, right? So you're smiling. There's people that walk around all day frowning, and that takes that mm -hmm. energy down. But putting a smile on your face, that's beauty. Inner inner and outer, don't it's you think? Absolutely. It's, well, it certainly it can change helps. your mood, just yes. even like the process of like positive thinking, right? And yeah. it can be difficult. Some people find it hard to find a place that, you know, is, is something to smile about. I mean, there are people right. who in, in a, with a lot of tragedy. Yes. And I feel even in those scenarios, though, you know, the fact mm -hmm. that what are you going to do? Are you going to let it conquer you and that be it? Or are you going to pick yourself up and mm -hmm. try and make something better for yourself and for your family and for the people around you? And I think that's, uh, that courage and that bravery is just enormously uh, attractive and, and something which you know, is, is attainable by us all. Talk to me about the word alluring. I've, I hear you say it. I, do, I don't know. How do you channel alluring? Well, I, think I love that it, word. It, for me, it's one, of the, it's, it's one of the most important things. It's what I look for. It's what I cast. It's what I, you know, when people audition in, for me for a job or for a modeling job, I'm looking for how, how alluring are they? Because that's what draw, draws people you know, to some, a product or to something. It's, it's the essence of who you are. If you've got confidence, you know, if you've got compassion, if you've got um, sort of a sense of humor, you know, you're charming, you've got, you're motivated, you have energy, you know, you have all these things, they, they bring them together. And it's all these things that, those are the reasons why you find someone attractive. That's why you fall in love. And, it, and it's not because they've got 
beautiful, perfect eyes. You, find, you think they've got beautiful eyes because of all those things, because the story that's being told with the eyes, not just the eye itself, and, you know, and your body language. All of those things, the way you move across the room, it's not the fact that you move, it's that how you move. It doesn't matter how slim or curvaceous you are, if you do it in a way that just is a sort of a shimmy, quite frankly. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, I think it's interesting because we yeah. live in the world of transformation. I mean, Michaela, right. Kelly, how do you think about the topic, about what makes what makes you feel confident, what makes the women you style feel confident? Right. You know, where do you think it comes from? I mean, Nigel's given us his view. Well, I'm a big believer in individuality. So I think mm. that to be beautiful, you have to kind of walk to your own drum. So I think uh, women that I've styled have always... Um, I've had to pull that out of them. Like, I love going through a woman's closet and finding those unique things in her closet that speak to her. Sure. And then when I take her shopping, find those pieces yeah. and bring out her individuality. And then right when I bring it out, I see that beautiful person inside them. Do you think that there's a, a right or wrong? I mean, I, I, I always sort of say that it's as much to do with being, you said, in an individual that, you know, you can be a punk, you can be a goth, right. you can be, yeah. um, you know, have street style, but you can be super elegant. You know, if that's who you are, who you true are. to yourself, right. then it works. And I, I always have felt like I've always been true to myself and I don't, I don't always walk to the normal beat, but I always find, I find confidence in that. That I've always been able to be me. You got rhythm. I got rhythm, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about yes, you, Michelle? You do. I mean, what, you know, what yeah. brings it out within you, and what what do you think lights up the women you work with? Oh well, just going off of what you were saying earlier about channeling that inner beauty and inner confidence, I think I would add to that. It's also about being able to see that in other people. So even when you're, you know, having channeling that for yourself and trying to drop into that space, it's also the way that we, you know, interact and we look at other people and seeing the beauty in them. And I think that's a choice that we make to see the beauty in other people. It's interesting when you were doing my makeup today, I was I'm wearing makeup clothes. Yeah. I'm okay, I'm mad enough to admit it. I get groomed. Just a little, it doesn't need much. So, but I'm gonna say something. I'm sitting with you with you. I'm sitting, she's doing my makeup, she's doing a bit of grooming. You're very gentle, you're very soft touch, you have a really gentle voice and you put people at ease. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you this, that when you're doing a photo shoot, mm -hmm. a big part of getting someone into the comfort zone yeah. starts at the makeup table. Yeah. And you, want to, you have an incredible, what we often call bedside manner, which is that very kind of disarming and charming. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's you're very soft and soft spoken, it's beautiful. And even look in your eyes right now, it's calming. Mm -hmm. And I think these are all things that help. And it's mm -hmm. something we can all have. I mean, it's hard. Some of us are really driven, and, but we don't give ourselves a moment to, yeah. And actually just chill out for a second and yeah. be at one with the world around us and actually yeah. enjoy the moment. And I think just going back I mean, to you just describe yes. me, which is yes. all scary. <laughs> Driven and I don't give take a time to pause, but you were gonna yeah. say, sorry. No, it's how we all balance each other out, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, yeah. Are we coming back to girlfriends and having each other to like remind each other to bring us into that space? Yeah, um, I mean, I think know? it is precious. Yeah. I mean, that's right, know. girlfriend. Yeah, that's right? That's right. <laughs> it's interesting, though, because as I listen to you all describe sort of individuality and sort of this feeling of sort of confidence in who you are, you know, it's, it's interesting because obviously I come out as a, as a business person, right? I'm not in front of the camera regularly, trust me. I mean, that's not what I do. I'm here to run the company. Mm -hmm. You know, but I do actually feel that part of my job even as a CEO is to sort of not only stand upright myself, but it's to make the people around me feel like that energy is there to be shared, right? Mm -hmm. And it's sort of, so it's there because I feel like sort of if I share my energy, everybody brings their energy, mm -hmm. you know? And I think energy is, in, is, is mm -hmm. I think for me, a definition of confidence and beauty, right? Mm -hmm. It's this notion that you come to everything mm -hmm. with a sense of possibility, with a sense mm -hmm. that you can sort of do whatever it is that you want to do. And we call that confidence, I call it energy. Mm -hmm. And I think, yeah, I think part of the beauty sort of, of what we do collectively is kind of bring that energy into a shared space. And your responsibility mm -hmm. is not just to bring it to yourself, but it's to bring it to other people. Mm -hmm. and that's something we have in, in all of us. And you know, we need to draw on that more often. Right. And, that's, and as you said, that in and of itself is a source of beauty, right? Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to move on to sort of one last topic before we get to our big reveal, the, the makeover winner, um, which is sort of, this is how it translates for all of us at Choice, but you've obviously lived in the world of fashion, high fashion, kind of exclusivity, aspiration, right? What do you think is happening inside of the kind of fashion and beauty industries right now mm -hmm. to reflect kind of this feeling we all have of sort of 
kind of how women need to embrace themselves and their beauty. I mean, do you see the industry following? I mean, things have changed and things are changing. I mean, I think even if you look at the past sort of decade in fashion, um, you've seen a lot more celebrity on the cover of magazine versus models on the covers of magazines. Now, you may say, well, still celebrities, they're untouchable too. But the reason why we all love our sort of stars are because of their talent at acting. And mm -hmm. I think it's warranted to support someone who has a talent, who has a betrayal, to, the ability to portray a character that we fall in love with. Now, many of these stars, if they weren't stars, would just be average women and average people. But because of the way they, they take on a character and it's identifiable and you believe in them, all of a sudden you're like, that could be me, that could be my mom, that could, that's someone who I know, and you fall in love with the storyline, then you fall in love with them, and then you want to see them on the covers of magazines. So that has changed. Mm -hmm. Also, we have you know, lots of companies and businesses out there, and um, whether they be the Avons of this world and other companies too, and of course, Joyous, for example, where you've embraced real women, and they are now the role models and the, and the models that you're using, and it's, it's, it, it's a slow process, and it's as fast as fashion can be, and it's quickly as the fashions change season after season, um, certain aspects are a little bit more difficult, but they are changing. And I think we all have to sort of demand that we see more models of color, more models of different shape and size. Mm -hmm. And, you know, because ultimately, if you look at who they're selling to, we're not selling to a, a one standard that all looks the same. We're all a bit different. And, and that's something that also makes us beautiful. <laughs> Now we get to the big reveal, which yes. is really the winner of our amazing sweepstakes contest. If you recall, we kicked this off with Nigel right at Fashion yeah. Week. That's right. I announced it live at Lincoln Center. Which was yeah, exciting for us all. So fun. And our grand winner won not only a makeover, courtesy of Michaela and yeah. Kelly, um, but her very own photo shoot with Nigel earlier today. Lots of fun. Yes. Lots of fun. So why don't we take a quick look at how her day went. Hi, I'm Kelly Gordon. I'm from Cornwall, Ontario, Canada, and I was one of the lucky, the lucky winner from Joyous for a all-day makeover photo shoot with Nigel Barker. Yay! <laughs> my style is actually very, very plain. If you were to open my closet door from left to right, as I explained in an email that I sent to you guys, black, white, gray, gray, black, white. I'm afraid to venture out into those unknown colors. Um, so I'm actually hoping today that I can have some help with that and be able to maybe come step outside of that box. <gasps> Hello! I'm, I'm a blank canvas for you guys to do what you want with me. I love doing more natural looking makeup and just very, very sheer layers. But I'll show you that you can build the makeup and still have a really like natural, natural. looking complexion. Mm -hmm. exactly. But you have enough on where you still feel kind of flawless right. and pretty. It, yeah. Cool. I'm just not used to seeing myself with that I much makeup, makeup on. on. I know. <laughs> I'm norm I'm normally very uh, I know soft and <laughs> subtle. I love fashion, I love style and clothes. It's when it comes, when I see it on other people, right. I, like I'm, I look at the way you're dressed and I think, wow, like you pull that <laughs> off, well, great. But then if I were to try that on, I probably you wouldn't, wouldn't have. I, the, wouldn't, I wouldn't have. Maybe it's the confidence. The confidence, to, maybe to maybe pull it off like right. that. Right, so. or maybe you don't, you don't trust yourself. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So I'm hoping that you can help me find that inner part of me and bring it out. Well, let's get started. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> I just finished my hair, makeup, and my wardrobe. And now I'm ready for my photo shoot with Nigel Barker. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? You look amazing. Thank you very much. It's your imperfections that truly make you in interesting and an individual and unique. And that's the sexiest thing you can be, is unique and your own self.
All right, so you've all taken a look at what the day was like, and now let's bring our winner in. Kelly Gordon, Yay. please join us. Have a seat. Thank you. Thank you. You look gorgeous. Thank you you yes. look gorgeous. Um, yeah. So, Kelly, as we yeah. get started, tell us a little bit about yourself and how you came to be here with us today. Yeah. Um, I'm a mom of two, um, and I entered the contest about a month ago and kind of forgot about it, I guess, cause sort of thing. You know, it's a one time entry and um, still followed along with all the, the pages and your, your, your videos and stuff. Mm -hmm. And Monday morning, I. I woke to an email that just took my heart and sunk it right down inside and I had to read it about three, four times. I believe I was actually on the phone with my boyfriend at the time and he was trying to tell me something and I'm like, just wait, just wait. And I'm rereading it, rereading it and he's like, what's going on? I'm like, you have to listen to this. And so I, I read the email and um, next thing you know, I'm here, so. Well, less than a week later. So thank you for coming yes. up to yes. join us. You. Uh, you come to us from Ontario, Canada, a place after my own yes. heart. I think a few hours from my hometown, yes. St. Catharines. Um, um, and what we'd love to hear a little bit about is sort of Kelly, Michaela, mm -hmm. um, how you styled yeah. Kelly. Um, and then we'll we'll hear a little bit about the shoot. Do you want to start with makeup, Michaela? Sure. sure. So we got started early this morning, and it was so fun yes. working with you. And as Nigel was saying, I think it all starts in the makeup chair, just like making people feel comfortable. And I just, I love working with women. It's where I come from, working with real women, working hey. with weddings. <laughs> and too, you are fun. You were fun too. to touch up to. You're people as well. Yes, you are. You are fun to touch up to. Um, but it was really fun to hear your routine, what you do, what you want to achieve with your makeup look. And we just worked together to create something really easy. I think you're going to have fun creating on your own at Absolutely. home. Um, so one of my favorite brands, if you guys watch Joyous, you know that Jouer Cosmetics is one of my favorite brands. So we use the tinted moisturizer on you with concealer. And for the eyes, really easy. She has on two eyeshadows, actually. And they're eyeshadow crayons. Easy. I know you can do it, right? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to do it at home. Just like a basic kind of color all over the eyelid just to brighten it up. And then we accented her beautiful hazel green eyes with a little bit of purple, a plum. But it's subtle enough where you can wear it every day and feel comfortable or smoke it up for night. And um, we had a couple different lipstick looks, but we ended up going with like a neutral kind of nude shade. Um, so what? Yeah, what do you think so far? Well, first of all, like Nigel had said earlier, it yeah. is your your soft spoken voice that Aww. just made me feel super comfortable yeah. in the chair, because when you're sitting there, it's all eyes on you. You know, yes. you're you're right up in my face. All the flaws that yes. I know I have, you're yeah. seeing. Yeah. But you didn't make me feel that way at all. I just felt completely comfortable. You. Your, your eyes and the way you spoke is very honest. So I know what you were telling me was genuine and it just really, I'm, I'm pretty insecure if you didn't know me outside of, uh, outside of this. So you really helped bring out that I don't believe it for a moment. inner, yeah. inner yeah. beauty on me <laughs> yeah. and, and gave me some tips. Yeah, well, yeah you look, so. I mean, I think the makeup looks beautiful and also just very natural. Mm -hmm. So hopefully yeah. it's something you can use Absolutely. kind of in your everyday routine. And that's at the end of the day is about enhancing your natural mm -hmm. beauty, right? Mm -hmm. Like we were talking about beauty and what that means. Like I don't like to use makeup as a mask to cover things up. I just like to do little things that enhance what you already have. So, and your eyes are stunning and so we yeah they're that. gorgeous right. yeah. 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 we all wish for eyes like that yeah. <laughs> stunning, stunning, stunning. um kelly now what did you do so i when you came over to the closet area i kept asking you a bunch of questions because i just wanted to get to know a little bit about your background right and um i think my first question was how much time do you spend getting ready in the morning how much what did you say you said five minutes five minutes right and so i have a lot of clients at here in San Francisco, who too have our mothers, they don't have time to take the time out for themselves. Mm -hmm. So what I try to do is give her clothes that she can easily throw on, um, outfits that she can easily put together, but also layer, mm -hmm. and that she can wear to the office, she can wear on the weekends. So they go from office to weekend, to occasionally you said you go out to um, plays yes. with your boyfriend, and you also like music, so you go listen to music. So I tried to give her a little bit of a look, some looks that have a little bit of a music edge, a little vibe to them. Okay, so cool. um, 
We started with a great pair of jeans. I think every woman's closet should start with a great pair of jeans. So we put her in the them jeans that we sell on Joyous, and she looked amazing in them. They well, every feature... woman's closet should start with a great pair of heels. Yes, yeah, exactly. Right. exactly. Yeah. And confidence yeah. and then skinny jeans. jeans. But um, yeah, she looked great in the jeans, the them jeans. They're, um, they're, it, you said it was the first time you'd ever worn a skinny, skinny jean, jeans, which I just thought, that's amazing. Yeah, the nice thing, legs. and those look great on you. And I tried to put you in color, because you said you only wear black, white, or gray. Yes. So I put you in a plum sweater, yes. I put you, I tried you in patterns, I tried you in a striped shirt, and we ended up landing on two outfits. One of the outfits was a beautiful cream blouse with um, chicken skinny pants with leather trim that looked amazing, and that's the outfit you're gonna take home, yes. right? Because you can wear that to the office and you can wear that out at night. And then this outfit, which you look totally smoking can in. Can we have you stand up? Yeah, um, can see this one. Well. the jacket. Yes. If you don't mind I'm taking that. off the jacket to show. Sure. Um, I just think this looks so good oh, on you. Wow. Um, so this is wow. yeah. <laughs> So this is a Bailey 44 um, ensemble. It's a top and a skirt, and it's. I love you in this plum color with your green eyes. I think it looks great. Mm -hmm. And the pencil skirt is, every woman needs a great pencil skirt. This Bailey 44 skirt is great. And um, this just shows off your body type and it just gives you a little bit of confidence. I love the vegan leather trim and I paired it with some edgy accessories because I think you got a little rock and roll side to you. So it was a pleasure, really. I'm so glad I got to work with you. You look gorgeous. You, yeah, you, you certainly do. look stunning. And I think both of you, well done. I mean, really, took everything that she has, all her you know, uniqueness, and really just highlighted it, which is what really fashion and, and, and cosmetics is meant to do. They're meant to you know, tell the story, your story. Yeah. And I love the fact that you sort of fed off her music background. Yeah. And obviously the vegan leather, that's great. I love that, being a vegetarian myself. Um, <laughs> however, you know, I, I think really the magic in front of the camera I think obviously you were built up by these wonderful women who gave you a little bit of confidence too, but it has to come from within and you brought it. You know, you had a little bit of nerves. You were a little, you know, sh little shaky in front of me at the beginning. Mm -hmm. You know, but we kind of danced it out. That's we put right. some tunes yeah. on. We just um, wanted to dance with Nigel Barker. We had some fun, <laughs> exactly. you know, and we connected. And, and that's where the magic happens when you're on, when you're being filmed. When you're taking that photograph, the, the magic happens when you allow yourself to be revealed. Thank you very much. And I was going to say, how did you feel, Kelly, in that shoe, oh, the photo my God. shoot? How did it go for you? Um, I was very, very nervous, very nervous, but you made me feel um, relaxed. You have this, it's your eyes, I think. It's just the, your, the way you are. It, doesn't, it does help that you're very attractive. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, but, um, you're making me blush. <laughs> Um, but you just made me feel relaxed and... Just, You're making me feel nervous. <laughs> <laughs> She's just, just being authentic. Just the words that you use to... They really touched me on the inside because I do lack a lot of confidence and even with the makeup and with the outfit and then just the photo shoot with you just made me feel like, okay, I can do this and I, I can... Because I am one on myself to... Um, pick out my flaws, where you all picked out my flaws and made them it's what beautiful. Makes you. It's exactly. what makes you. Exactly. All those so-called flaws are just your differences, and it's your differences that make us wonderful mm -hmm. and make you unique and make you special. And otherwise, we'd all be the same and how boring the world would be. So remember that and take that strength. And, you know, I'm glad you had a great day because it was certainly a lot of fun for us. It was so cute. We were in there, and she said, I could get used to this. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I yes, could live I could. like this. <laughs> I could. Oh my goodness, you come no. Back anytime. You did, yeah, you did a wonderful job today. And I was, um, yeah, I think we were talking earlier. I think once you've been shot by Nigel Barker, I mean, you need never not have confidence again. Because I think yeah. if that was me, every time I looked at a camera, I'd be like, okay, how hard can it be? Like, after you've been shot by, you know, one of the world's most famous photographers. So it's all good. It's all good. So from here on in, every picture, it's all good. That's right. That's right. <laughs> but thank you for joining us. We really appreciate oh, you, you, you coming. I'm honored. Um, yes. And we had, we had a wonderful day with you. So thank you.
All right, so now on to the very uh, last part of our show, which is our studio audience gets a chance to talk to Nigel and the rest of the team live. Um, and we're going to turn straight to you for your questions. My question is for Nigel. What are some techniques that you use to bring out and capture that inner beauty you were talking about in the people that you're photographing? Right. I mean, to be honest, it, it's, it's one of those things where each person's different. You know, not one trick is going to work on, on, on everybody. And you, you have to sort of spend time with them. I think it, it's, it's very important to get to know who you're shooting. If you just walk up to someone randomly, it can be very hard. And of course, there are times when that does happen. If I'm, say, for example, in a, in a place like Haiti or something like that, where I'm meeting someone for the first time, but then often it's their, their actual life and the moment that they're in and to see what they're doing, that helps bring that out. Uh, and, and, I, and I just really, I'm there to observe and to admire, really. I think wor words of encouragement are often very important and you know, people react well to that. I think having a calming voice, um, being understanding, but also knowing when to stir things up, you know, I think too, getting people to get them on the spot, you can calm them down and then you can liven it up. And, you know, it isn't always about the calm. And I think that's one of the fun things about, you know, working in fashion and certainly working in a photo shoot uh, is bringing out that magic. Who else has got a question for Nigel that they'd like to go next with? All right, go ahead. Hi, so this question's also for Nigel. I'm just asking um, about how, what steps you took to kind of find your voice professionally to become like who you are today? Great question. You know, I've been doing this for a long time. I've been photographing and working fashion for a better part of 20 years. Um, and it's been a voyage. You know, I, I, I didn't just start out knowing exactly what I was going to do and how I was going to do it. And I'm still learning and I'm still changing. And I'm still every day having a day of discovery and realizing, you know, what, how much better I can make my um, my life and my job and, and be better at what I'm doing and, and, and perhaps realizing that you know, there's ways to change. And you've got to be in a state of change. I mean, the world is changing, things are changing, fashion is changing, so you've got to be able to change too. As soon as you stop, then it doesn't work. And we talked about nerves, mm -hmm. having the ability to, 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 to be in the moment and to be excited by the moment. You know, I've never not been excited by what I do. And you know, some things that I've done a million times, I still go in there and for that moment, whoever I'm with, it's me and them and their nerves, my nerves, we all feed off each other. And I think that's important. So on that note, thanks for your question. And we're going to wrap things up. Of course, um, a very special thank you to yes. Kelly, yes. to Nigel, um, to Kelly and Michaela, obviously, for styling today, um, and to our very special studio audience and the crew that made it happen today. It's been a really great day at Joyous. And of course, we'll leave you with a look at what's happening this week.